that we are breaking down my world famous <laughs> one desk studio. I want to share with you all the geeky stuff. I know you're like, we're going to go through the equipment, what I'm using, how I upgraded. So we're going to jump right in. I get asked this question a lot, especially as I started live streaming. How do you upgrade and kind of have more of a semi-pro look? Not necessarily pro, not a $30,000 setup, but something for, for a normal human being that's pretty easy to use. So here is the before and after. I just took, look at this. It's like shocking with the three. I just took these pictures 30 seconds ago. The one on the left is with the other camera that I that I was using. I was using uh, like a little portable USB streaming HD, which I thought looked fine. And then this is the new camera that I'm using. And you could probably see the difference like right away. Now, let me set the stage. This is not the most important thing, right? Having a setup or gear is not the most important thing for your success. It's more about the consistency and the quality of your videos and you know how specifically you're speaking to the people. You could do videos with just your iPhone and still have millions of views and people do that. So this isn't the most important thing. Okay, so don't this wouldn't fix crappy content. I could have Steven Spielberg direct your, your, ne your next video, but if it's not good, it doesn't matter. So I from my perspective, and you might be in the same boat as me, I'm I'm an entrepreneur. I want to create products. I don't want to spend time setting up studios and lights and all this stuff that takes two hours and try to figure out. It's just I want something the old set it and forget it. It had to be easy. It had to be something where I could set up, press one or two on buttons and hit go. Like that was the number one thing. It had to be easy to use. Uh, I didn't want filters and all this crazy stuff. Number two, portable. Because I live in the real world. I have four teenagers, although one's 20 now. And kids are in and out of the house. So I needed something that I can record anywhere. So I have... <laughs> My wife has pretty much said the basement's yours. So it's a, it's a nice basement. It's picked up. But I might, if my son wants to play a game or have a kid down, I want to be able to bring my office, my portable office into this. So this is like a little studio I set up in the most quiet room of the house. This is kind of like a big walk-in storage closet. And I have one little section of it and it's soundproof and no one could hear me. So, but I might, sometimes I want to record further away or out um in the other part of the basement. And that's why it had to be portable. And number three, it had to give good looking results that I think are kind of semi-pro. I don't need professional results. Um, and you probably don't either. I don't think it's necessarily worth the investment. I didn't want to spend a hundred thousand dollars with a professional studio setup. I just didn't think it was necessary, especially if you're just starting out with the newer channel and newer video marketing, you want to see if it's even worth the investment, right? If you're going to spend 50 or $80,000, put that into marketing. Put the 80 grand at the Facebook ads and get a decent, but carve out $800 for this. And I'll show you exactly what we're doing. So this is my portable studio and I'll show you every piece of equipment I have. Uh, but this isn't, I'm not recording this with a green screen. This is actual, like, these are actual like cassette tapes. This is, a, this is real. <laughs> so this is just, um, this is again in the closet, but I have that green screen in case I want to have a backdrop in case I want to film out there and have a different look, or maybe I want to do a different channel. Maybe you want to do multiple channels. Um, so it's, you can do that and I'll show you exactly. So that's optional. The, the most important thing is probably it's two: the camera and the sound, right? So the camera, this is the one I have now. It's the, it's kind of more of an entry level, what they call like a mirrorless camera. So it's not a the, uh, a webcam. Okay. That was what I had before. The webcam was gave this results on the left, which again is fine, right? Perfect. If you have a webcam, perfectly fine. The one on the right is the camera I'm using right now. And it's this one. Now, again, I'm not saying you have to run out and get this camera. You don't. This is the one I'm using. I'm using it because I saw a bunch of reviews and, and a lot of streamers said it's pretty easy to use. And there's I'll I'll share a link later with a video of a guy who showed you how to set it up. There's like three or four settings to do in the camera, and it's a piece of cake. I turn it on, I put it right into the USB, and we're good to go. This is the camera, the Sony ZV E10. I bought it on Amazon. It was renewed, which I guess it means it was like used, but I don't know. It was per it looked perfect right out of the box, and this cost me uh, as of today it was seven hundred ninety four dollars. 
not the cheapest, but considering people will spend $15,000 on a cheese ball coach, $794 might be worth it. I mean, look how good I look. Uh, <laughs> so that's the camera. I have now the only addition I got to it. I got a, and I'll share a link. I forgot to add this link. I got a special battery that it replaces. Here's the, here's the chargeable battery. Let me show this. Um, this is the battery it comes with. So you got to charge it up. But what I did was I bought a battery on Amazon that actually has a cord that's plugged in all the time. So I never have to worry about running out of battery power. So it's plugged in all the time and the wire runs through it. I'll share a link to that, but that's what I do. Uh, for the battery, but otherwise it's just, I plug it into the little dongle thing and it goes right into my MacBook and it streams directly from, th this is the camera, this is exactly how far away it is, I can reach it. The next thing is the mic. This is a mic I bought probably about two years ago and it sounds still pretty good. I sound like Casey Kasem, uh, not expensive. It's actually pretty inexpensive. I mean, there are, there are mics that are three hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. But this one, I was going to upgrade, but I'm like, you know what? I think it sounds fine. Uh, look, it looks. Hey, they're running a sale. Fifty dollars. Uh, and this is the mic, and it, um, it came just like exactly how you see it. There's a, an arm I attached to the back of the table, so I could swing it towards me and away from me, and you could take it with you. And again, it plugs right into that little dongle thing. So I have, the mic and the camera into that, which goes right into my computer. But this is it. So the basics right here, you've got, again, this is like entry-level high. This is like entry-level semi-pro, $800. So you're looking at $850, ready to go, right? Like that can change the game between something that looks kind of amateurish and go and pro. So that's why I say like it's under $1,000 studio. By the way, if you're liking it, like, subscribe. Keep going because I love sharing this stuff. And I know you like this geeky stuff too. Come on, admit it. If you like the geeky stuff, drop a yes, I do. Uh, the third thing is this light that I have. And it is, I'll show you this. It's right here. It's a little portable light. Now I had one that was like bigger and more expensive and it attached to the end of the desk. <laughs> And about two weeks ago, I accidentally snapped it in half. I was trying to position it towards me. <laughs> and I don't know my own strength. I guess, and shh, I snapped the damn thing right in half. And that was like a $300 light. So that wasn't fun. So I'm like, let me buy a portable one in case I want to film upstairs or out by the pool. And this was it. This is the one that I got. The one right here that I'm using. It's battery charged. You plug it in and then you're ready to go. It's, it was $89. So this room right now, to give you context, is totally dark. So I'm, it's like a closet. Do you want me, you know what I'm going to, I'm going to turn the light on for a second. Stay right there. Watch the YouTube is going to drop off. I'm going to turn the light on and you'll see the difference. What this light does. Hopefully you can still hear me. Right. So depending on the look you're going for, this is definitely brighter, right? This is like a big bright look versus the other one that was like more dark and brooding. So, but that's all I have. It, the people call it a key light, but when I have it totally dark, that's the only light I use. And I have a couple of, oh, I should have, I'll, I'll have links there too. I have a couple of little, uh, I don't know, LED colored lights for some pop. <laughs> you gotta have the pop. Uh, but that's this, that's it on the desk. Uh, now let's get into the fun. Now this is what's crazy. The desk costs more than the light <laughs> and the mic. But I wanted a desk that did a few things. Number one, I could, I, it had wheels. So I could wheel it from one, one area of the house to another area, not up the stairs because it's a heavy desk, but I could wheel it from one area of the basement. I can get another look. I could do it by the window. I could do it in front of the TV. Like my entire studio was on this desk. That I mean, it's crazy that you could run a multi-million dollar business right there. Like that is it. And if you have a green screen, you could be in the crappiest room or office or corner of the house in the world, put a green screen up and no one would ever know. Uh, with a green screen, it just makes it look that much crisper. But this is it. I, I want to show you that this is possible for anyone. So I, what I like about this desk is you could see on the right there that it has a crank. Can you see that? That, that hand crank. Uh, what, 
what's cool about the hand crank, let, let me see if you guys can still, yeah, you can still see this. Okay. What's cool about the hand crank is that you can actually stand up. You can lower it like right here. I could, I could lower it. I could raise it. So you could do a standing one if you want a different angle. And I wanted something that was tough. I got this baby from Home Depot. Husky. Come on. It's a husky, but it's 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 expensive. $238. But it's it's not as expensive as a quote unquote standing desk, right? Some of these companies will charge a thousand dollars or multi thousand dollars for a standing desk when this is the same thing. But this is this is I mean, this is um this is the this is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy duty. So if you want to do your studio on wheels, adjustable, I like this. And 46 inches is perfect. You could see how much space I had uh, on here. There's water bottle, space for all this stuff. Doesn't get, uh, yeah, it, Steph just said, uh, does not get any sturdier than a Husky. And uh, you, don't, you don't need it. You don't need an adjustable desk. That's why I'm saying this is optional. But this is, this is my exact setup. So I'm at 800 for the camera, about 50 for the mic. That's the main stuff, right? Another 80 for the light if you want, another 200 for a desk or whatever. Get a, get a $50 desk. Go to Goodwill and get a desk for $10. doesn't matter. And if you want a green screen, this is the one I have because what's cool is you can fold it. If you saw the original picture, if you could see back here, right? That is it. That's the green screen folded up. So... It 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 collapses into this like tube. Right? Remember the old um, Brady Bunch episode with Mike Brady with the blueprints at the amusement park. You have to remember that episode where Greg lost the blueprints. Remember they were running around. Give me a yes if you remember or a like if you remember that episode. You got to remember that. But that's the green screen there, and all I do I don't have to like use any levers or anything. I just lift it up, and it comes right up out of this. And it stands up automatically. I don't need anything to stand up. So it's really pretty cool. Um, but this, again, is not cheap. It's it's funny how the green screen and the, the table, which are totally optional, add up. Uh, but this was $200. But if you're going to use a virtual background, I think it's well worth the investment, especially if if what's stopping you is the idea of, well, I don't really have a studio or my office is ugly or I have a big air conditioning unit in the back, right? Like all of those excuses, if you had a green screen like this, that's portable, you could take it with you and you could get, you could do it in the kitchen. You could do it in your bedroom. You don't even have to make your bed. You should make your bed, but you don't have to um, pop it up and no one would ever know. So that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's, that's all the stuff. What I'll do is once this recording is done, I will include Amazon links. I don't even have an Amazon affiliate account, so I'm not going to make any commissions. So if this was helpful, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a share, do something. But I just wanted to share this with you because I'm doing more YouTube lives and I'm streaming more. And as I'm doing it, and, and I really think like this setup alone can take you like to a million subs or more. And maybe I never have to change. Like, is it really going to matter if the camera was a couple thousand dollars more? Would you just be like, oh man, I'm not watching this? Probably not. And your, pre your people probably wouldn't mind either. So don't overthink it. Don't go crazy. You don't need this setup, but I wanted to share with you what I'm doing, exactly what I have that I'm building this new channel for new people without breaking your budget. Get semi-pro results, not pro, semi-pro on uh, what I think is a pretty good deal. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for being here. There's another video coming your way. This is Ryan signing off. As always, I'm here for you. Keep rocking. Oh, and I'm going to have a link in our Facebook group. We have a, a new Facebook group, a couple thousand people in there already. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Thank you so much and see you soon. Keep on streaming.